Hiya, my name is Chris Crabb um, and my documentary is on 24 hours of being homeless in Nottingham. I've no drink and no food. Just one pound and five piece of my name with a sleeping bag, it's going to be tough. Hiya, so it's 6am um, in the morning. Um, and I've just started my 24 hours of being homeless. Um, today I'm going to be interviewing um, people that sell the big issue um, and also I'll be talking to the general public about what they think about the homeless. Um, later on tonight um, we will be talking to homeless people um, who gather outside McDonald's on Columbus Street. Um, I haven't had anything to eat and I haven't had anything to drink. Um, so far I'm feeling absolutely fine. Um, we'll see how that is later on. Right, it's about 12 in the afternoon. Um, I still haven't had anything to eat. Um, as you can see, it's very busy in town and it's absolutely boiling. Um, I now understand more what it's like to be homeless. Um, I honestly don't think I'll be able to do this in winter. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen this afternoon. Um, I'm going to try and find somewhere to eat. Um, I'm going to try and find some more people to talk to. Well, as you can imagine, a lot of them are people who are hooked on drink or drugs, but you'd be surprised how many uh, are men and women who've had decent jobs. I spoke to one man sleeping rough here who was a miner, another who was a lifeguard. I met two Polish men who'd just been laid off and who aren't entitled to any benefits here. And two other men I met who were sleeping rough at the moment uh, whose marriages had broken down. So, you know, with temperatures as cold as they are tonight, well, places like this are a real lifeline. Um, it's not too bad because we have a lot of love. We spread love amongst each other. We all help each other. Like, if I get, che I get cheeseburgers, I give them out to the other lads and that. We all try and help each other. We're a little community and that against like, the system because the system is really crippling us right now. On and off for the last three years. It's taught me a lot, but I don't think it really helps because a lot of them sell drugs off the back of it or use it to score drugs because the red jacket makes them quite visible and it's, a, it's an attention thing, you know, hey, I'm a druggie, I'm like that. And it's got a bad rep, really, because the magazine itself doesn't really help the homeless. They encourage drug dealing, you know. They encourage the dealers. They, they know that the, the, the issuers are selling drugs on the train station, let's say, or at a certain spot and they supply them with drugs, legal drugs. Um, a lot more, but he doesn't, you know. I've had my national insurance number changed. You know, that's not really helpful. And, um, well, it's, um, the Big Issue magazine, it needs a total revamp. It's not green, it doesn't really help the homeless if you actually looked into it. It's more of a tax dodge and a scam, a charity scam. It's like donating to donkeys and having one donkey. You know what I mean? Telling people that you've got 100 donkeys when you've only got one. You know, it's a bit of a scam. I don't, I don't like the old concept. It could be a lot greener and better for the environment and the people. And you tend to find that the poor people are buying the magazine when they're the ones that should be selling it. You know what I mean? It's not right. And you don't even have to be homeless to sell the magazine, which is quite sick. You know? So the genuinely homeless people are struggling. Right. It's now about six o'clock um, in the afternoon or mid-evening. Um, it's starting to get a lot cooler, but it is luckily still quite warm. Um, luckily, the um, council have public toilets, um, so yeah, thanks to them really. Um, the next video diary will be at about 12 o'clock tonight. Um, all I've had to eat today is a sugar drink donut. That's it. I've got 80 p left, um, so we'll see how far that stretches us. Hiya. Um, it's 8 o'clock at night. Um, this is usually when I'd either be going home or settling down with my family. Um, I'll admit, it's been a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, luckily for me, the temperature today has been alright. Um, 
I'm starting to feel ill in my stomach. I can tell I haven't eaten for a while. Um, I'm starting to get a headache as I've realised that I haven't had enough water today. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to sleep tonight. Um, probably in this park, to be honest. Um, I don't see how people can do this for absolutely ages and years and oh, it's absolutely horrible and I'm starting to not wish this upon anyone. There's another crew here. Basically they're just they're just run us out by intimidation and that. This is where several homeless people used to camp at the back of the cemetery and Dean spent other nights sleeping in parks or garden sheds. I'm shocked that I've ended up like this. It's in like quarter past 12 now and I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely freezing. Um, and at the park, I'm in my sleeping bag as you can see. And um, the only reason we're using the lighter is because um, the light here is absolutely terrible. Um, there's no street lights. Um, still haven't eaten much today. Um, no. Compared to what I usually have, I've had absolutely nothing. I've had a coffee and a tea. I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely starving. Um, it's bloody terrible how why what these people have to put up with, and I don't even have the big issue or big issue or any other form of um, sorting myself out. Um, I'm gonna try and get some sleep, but the chances of that happening isn't very likely. Morning, guys. Um, 6.30 in the morning, um, temperature's absolutely freezing. Um, we were able to have a McDonald's last night um, due to some very kind people who um, gave us a Big Mac. Absolutely freezing, it's the only word I can describe it. Um, as you can tell, I'm not looking my finest. Um, yeah, <sighs> to sum up, work hard, get an education and sort your life out don't ever come to homelessness because it's absolutely bloody horrible and oh, it's horrible by now well you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe it anybody I do about you now. Oh, 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 o